What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. I'm only going to be in Houston for two days and why is my bag so full plus a backpack because I'm a perpetual overpacker. I'm the type of person who needs to know I have everything. <laughs> make sure to get a shake out in as soon as I'm off the plane basically um, especially for running the next day like I'm gonna be running tomorrow or the next the day right after I fly you know just something to get the blood flowing through my legs get the travel out my legs and sometimes you don't always have access to a track so we use the hotel hallways <laughs> I was just really happy with the weekend. I was happy with the way I performed in the final. It was super rocky in the beginning because my heat and my semi were not that great. I'm talking, I didn't know if I remembered how to three-step. I was doing some funky stuff, I don't know. But I'm happy I was able to put things together in the final. I was really happy with the way that I was able to kind of chip away at my time. I ran 8.48 in the heat, I ran 8.23 in the semis, and then I ran 8.07 in the finals. And my personal best is 803, which I ran in 2012. So this has been a long time coming. Um, I don't think I've told you guys my whole story, my whole journey um, of injuries and issues. Um, but it, it it's been a bit of a battle. So it's really exciting for me to you know kind of get back to the place that I was in 2012 and to find my form again. So um, to open up. Close to my personal best is exciting. Um, and knowing I'm still not quite doing everything that I should be doing. So um, my goal going into this meet was just to focus on myself and try to execute some of the things that I've been doing in practice in a competitive environment, which isn't always that easy because sometimes you get into a race and you just throw everything out the window and you like, I'm just F it, I'm going. Um, so I really tried to just stay super composed and just do the things that I, wa I wanted to try and execute. Um, and all of these meets for me right now are about fine tuning. Um, I, I use indoor season as um, a way to work on my weaknesses, as a way to work on my technique. Outdoor season is kind of where it matters, you know, that we're going to have world championships this summer. So it's more so fine tuning and getting ready for those things. As a hurdler, I think it's awesome to just find a hurdle rhythm where you're just kind of getting into you know that feeling um and you you can't find that in practice you have to race especially for me i'm the type of person i have to go out there and i have to be racing i'm just really looking forward to this season i'm just excited like i'm excited to just go out there and race i just want to go out there and just be the best possible version of felicia george i just want to go and be competitive 
I want to go have fun and I want to race. Like, I love track, y'all. Like, I, I, I can't even lie. Like, I'll be wide looking at results. If there's a track meet on TV, I'm watching it. Um, you know, I love competing. I love lining up. So, I'm just excited to just go out there. And I'm so blessed to be able to do what I love. And I'm excited to take you guys along for the journey. Um, I think a lot of people don't get to see what we do, a lot of the behind the scenes. So, I'm excited to kind of give you guys a sneak peek in, into that. And people, if you are not subscribed, subscribe so you can stay up to date so you can see when I'm putting new stuff out. And um, like the video. If you're liking what I'm doing with my vlogs, please give me a thumbs up. Um, leave some comments so I can know like, you know, what you guys are liking, what you would like to see. I would love to know, you know, what you guys would like to see some more of. Um, and subscribe, like, comment, hit me up, follow me on Instagram. I'm pretty active on that joint, so Y'all need to holler at me there. <laughs> um, yeah. Deuces until next time, people. Coming to a track near you.